boy, but right now he's kind of uh, he's getting lit up by the Pokemon trainer. Oh yeah, absolutely. I can't even see what what stock do the two. I don't know what the stock count is. No, I think it's three, three on both. Yeah, but oh. Wadi's now down to two. Yikes! Okay. Jeez. Yeah, he needs to find an answer here. That's tough. Yeah, Leffen came out to play, man. Yep. That definitely was the guy I was looking at in terms of melee. I know a lot of people were saying, like, Plut is by far the best uh, melee player in terms of ultimate. But I really felt that it was going to be Leffen. I felt that he was putting in the hours. Plut was too, but Leffen had gone to tournaments. He had sure. played with these players over and over again. Plut himself said that he hasn't gone to a real tournament. So, you know, it's going to be a little bit different, right? Yeah. Just interacting with different play styles that you're going to see. Because there's going to be a lot of paradigm shifts outside of the just, like, oh, this game has this mechanics, and sure. so I know this stuff, right? Yeah, Leffen is a weird, kind of a weird case, too, because, like, he's over in Europe, and I'm not going to make any Penguin jokes, but Gluttony losing to uh, I'm Hit earlier on in the day. We don't really have a great idea of Europe's skill level overall, yeah. right? Gluttony's winning everything over there, has defeated Leffen in the past. Leffen has been doing very well at this event, actually dropping out of melee so we can focus on ultimate. Right. Seems to be paying off right now. He's getting uh, some wins in top 64. Yeah. You know, he's doing some good stuff. I mean, honestly, it's funny because a lot of people look at Gluttony losing the I'm Hip, and they're like, see? Justification. We were right, yeah. Yeah, but if you guys have been watching SoCal at all, Void has been dominating SoCal, right? Yep. But the losses that he has have been to two people, Larry and I'm Hip. Yep. I'm Hip has been by far, um, outside of, of those two players, the most consistent in SoCal. He's been going to the most tournaments out of any one of those people. And he is a defensive specialist in a region that loves to press buttons. Exactly, yeah. And and he's always kind of been the poster child sleeper player. I feel like him and Dyer are two of the most yes. slept on players on the, in the world. Absolutely. So no real surprise. Oh, all right. Okay. Oh, it's a button check. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I was like... Whoa. Yeah. So it looks like coming up, we got Zachary against Sonics. Sonics actually the was the DR guy that uh, he defeated Anti, if I'm not mistaken, yes, he did. earlier on in the tournament and made that huge upset. So I have to see how he does against Zachary here. This is, uh, this is a different kind of wolf, man. And while this is happening, I'm going to confess to you guys again, we're watching Wadi Leffen. Oh, is, I mean, uh, hey, let them do the hand warmers. Yep. I'm watching this match. It is nuts right now. Oh, my goodness. Rob just does flips. Yep. It's crazy. Show him the exhaust. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, yeah. Leffen is, uh, he's tearing away with it. Wadi trying to find space. Yeah, and he's about to be a kill percent. He's gonna have to be careful here. Yeah, this is ugly. Team oh, that's it, that's, that's it. it. Leffen beats Wadi. Oh my gosh, and he pops off. Okay, MDVA suck. All right, guys, let's switch it over to this one. Zach Gray against Yo, Sonic. And look coming at up. that crowd, bro. Yeah, that crowd's wild. If Leffen makes it into top eight, this TSM chant, imagine if it's Leffen and Tweak. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. So here we go, guys. On Pokemon Starter 2, have to see how this goes. Wolf against Sonic, a matchup. I've got to confess, I have not seen much. I know a lot of people, a lot of the Sonic players kind of doubted Sonic's ability in this game just because he plays very different. But, yeah. I mean, as a Sonic player yourself, tell me a little bit about it. I, I have told all of them that I feel like they're very, very wrong. Um, I think the character is very strong. Uh, homing attack is absolutely Stupid. asinine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you can it's a combo starter in certain aspects. It's an amazing edge guarding tool. It's a move that actually would have been fine if left unchecked yes. in Smash, like the Smash 4 one because of how this game is in terms of you having only one air dodge. But they just made it incredible. Yeah. Sonic still does, does a ton of damage. He has one of the best in, uh, initial dashes in the game. And like, just look at that, man. The power of Bear, is, it's so good. Yeah. It's so good in a game that you can now edge guard, along with Bear, along with homing attack, along with upbeat. Like, this man can kill. Especially against a character that's sort of a uh, little bit you know what trajectory Wolf is going to recover right. in a lot of circumstances. Doesn't mean you can always punish it, but in a lot of cases you can. Have to see if Sonix is ready for this matchup right now. Has the lead on Zachary, which is uh, no small feat. Not at all. Oh, I love that, man. Yeah, and Sonic also has a lot of new angles that he can do now for uh, the spin dash and the spin charge. And now I'm not going to go into too many details because I'm sure no one even knows what the hell I'm talking about with all those stupid acronyms <laughs> that Sonic means. Oh made. my god, yes. you can do that? Yes, that's all real. His legs are that long? Yes, that's that hitbox ridiculous. is crazy. My back throw should be very thin, but yes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's vertical hitbox is really huge. 
uh, but the horizontal spec is not that good, which is why up up air doesn't always uh, lead into itself. Sonic's uh, looking really strong right now against good. Zachary. Has him at 100%, and like honestly, I've been watching a couple Zachary sets, obviously, because we want to see how this kid performs, but I've never seen him kind of bleed like this. Wonder if he's going to be able to make something happen. But, but the thing is, Sonic's can't be too careful because there's a lot of circumstances where Zach Gray has been like in a weird spot and then he gets a down smash at 40 and yeah. he gets the kill. Exactly. See, oh, trying to go for a down tilt two frame. Interesting. Uh, a lot of Sonics usually tend to go for a, either go for a down smash at the edge or they try to go for a uh, forward smash. Oh, forward smash really good there. no. Yes, and I love that, man. Pressuring him with the spring to recover in a particular angle he could not. Yeah, he tried to find the right angle to be able to not land on the stage, and because of that, he just he fell super early. Yep. 117%. And this is the thing about Wolf. Wolf either kills very early or not at all. Mm -hmm. So at 117, you can see Zachary kind of spamming this up smash, hoping right. to pull Sonics into it. But if Sonics can just play this safely, there we go, get a couple free hits. But of course, um, I, I know Zachary knows as well, uh, you're going to have Bear that can kill. Nice. You have Dash Cat. Dash attack that can kill a little bit later. Up tilt kills as well. Yep. A lot of his tools, like there's a window where he can't kill, and then it comes back again, and it's virtually <laughs> every single move he has kills. Yeah. So he's going to be in a good place. He's Already on in, the damage. He's strong in like the early game and the late game. Yes. The mid game's rough. Yes, absolutely. At old Tristana. Here we go. 65% on Sonic. Zach Ray has fought his way right back into this. No homing attack usage from uh, Sonic really at all. I'm kind of surprised by that because that was that was the first thing I wanted to mention when we were talking about the character. But right. Sonic's just not really utilizing it. Yeah, yeah, he's only used it a, uh, a little. And you know what? I kind of like that because again, kind of like how Zachary uses the uh, blaster. The blaster. It's the same aspect as where if you are utilizing all your other tools, they're not going to realize how powerful that is until it's too late. Yeah. Right now, Zachary getting the up smash. Not enough to kill just yet, but has it yet. He oh used the second goodness. jump. He had to land. Excellent back yes, air and yep. gets the I nair. love that. I love that. You don't expect Wolf to do that. Yeah. Like, jump out there, use his second jump. Burn his second jump resource on a character that can't recover. But he does it, and because of that, he gets the win. Yeah. And that was really a checkmate situation there. Once he had gone ahead and used his air dodge, he was stuck. He had to fall down, essentially, uh, 10 square units in the game after that air dodge, which means that that was just a punish. That was a direct punish. Sonic's fighting against the number four seed of this tournament. Just so everybody knows, this guy came in ninth at Umabura SP, and then got first at uh, Sumabato and Umabura SP2. This guy has been running Japan for a very long time, was only number 88 all time in Smash 4. This has been a huge jump for Zachary. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he is the future of Japanese Smash, and Everyone just smash really, in general. Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I, I'm, I am so happy Sonyx is out here doing damn thing with this character because he definitely plays a lot different, but best believe he is so good. Yeah. The dash back and the dash attack. You know, easy whip punish. Here we are in town and city. Bit of a bigger stage in terms of platform size. Have to see how Sonics utilizes that. Yep. Right now, Zach is just not giving him an in. Oh yeah, that yep, that safe. that might have killed. Yeah, that move is no, so it does. Strong. It's so good. Wolf, like go, going ahead and doing Firewolf, like as a dive kick, is one of the greatest kill options <laughs> in this game. It is so hilarious. Oh, he just did it again. Yeah, why yeah. not? Why not? Didn't quite get the pull, but right now Sonic's at 100. Yeah, there Up it is. Tilt. Why does that kill? Hey, he, <laughs> of all the moves. Tell me. I, Because I still don't know. That move's nasty. Yeah. Oh, nice. I yes, love that down tilt. Gets his jump, but the platform there going to save and, him. He is going to refresh his jump, oh, not even going to utilize it. And very interest, interesting enough, he did not use homing attack there. I felt like that was a great play for that. That would have really chased him. And then he didn't have to really guess where he was going in that scenario. Yeah. Good catch. Of course, you can do an air dodge afterwards uh, to cancel that uh, landing lag. Really good stuff by Sonics. Let's see, there's the up throw. Gonna get an up air that's basically free. And right now, he's just boxing Sonics out. Yep. Sonics doing a good job of getting that whip punish up in the air, but doesn't really take advantage of the disadvantage state that Zachary was in. He was above him, but didn't really get anything out of it. True. Let's see him dancing around, gets the nair. Sonic's pulling the trigger on the Nair first. Gets him to air dodge, but doesn't punish. 
Good wait. Oh, yep, safe. Yeah, both these characters having pretty safe smash attacks, like all things considered. True. Oh, I love him going for a double jump there. Yep. Maneuver around, gonna push the off him to get himself into a safe position. Eats the blaster shot, spaces out the grab, dash attack, burst out from Zach Ray. He's yeah, not gonna kill that though. Oh, and of course he goes for the spin dash jump. Ooh. He's he's actually moving with Sonic. Oh yeah, he's, he's crazy. definitely moving. Yeah, that's what Sonic does that's now Sonic. in this game. And that's why he, that's why a lot of Sonic names from Smash 4 felt so weird about him. Because you are not supposed to just sit back. You don't just spin dash. Oh for yeah, you everything. move. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That makes sense. Like if you're just holding spin dash, that's yeah. not as good as like actually moving. Exactly, it. exactly. But Zachary just unfazed by the new Sonic three stocks to one. It looked shaky in the first game, but now Zachary with a firm handle showing us why he's the number four seed in this tournament, number one in Japan. This really? guy is on another level. Yeah, he's so so good. I mean, that's what we call adaptation, man, and that's what makes the good players great players. Oh, I love that. Uses Ooh. the wall jump into the laser. Nothing really coming of it, but yeah. it looked nice. Yeah, yeah, It was definitely cute in the Sonic Solo. That's nice. Hey, give yeah. me real quick. <laughs> anyway. Yep. Let me get this yeah, stock. yeah. Good Nair from Zach Ray, who only has to finish up his one last stock to move on. Oh, wait, no. It's best of five. Mm -hmm. So we got a couple more. Oh, oh God, my gosh. Pivot grab. Yeah, that grab is so clean. Follows him all the way over. I always feel like when you get hit by that pivot grab, it's just like, all right, like you know, <laughs> mental damage, yeah, dude. Oh, it's a real thing. Definitely. Same thing with uh, roller on inkling. There True. are a lot of moves that just do serious mental damage. Yeah. And uh, we're seeing uh, Sonic's kind of missing the combos uh, after he's been getting these landing up airs. You can combo that into a double jump uh, in air or something of that nature, or even spring up air, or even homing attack. But it seems like he's not really getting the timings on those. I love that. That's. That classic now. That's so. That's something Sonic can do as well. Go into side B, double jump, air dodge back down, and that's kind of like a pseudo cancel. Sure. That can utilize. Oh, he tries to recover to the let. Yeah, he's just respecting him too much. Zachary just gave him so many chances to do something. Yeah, and Sonic didn't give it to him, but finally gets that forward air, 115 percent. But this is going to be really tough. Yeah, so well. Oh my goodness. He escapes. <laughs> All right. Actually, really, the more I think about that, the Fire Wolf to escape yeah. is so good because yeah. if you overcommit and run into it, you're dead. Yep. And if you, oh yeah, there we go, 150. Easy. That was really. I'm just still infatuated with that. Like I'm still thinking about it. Yeah, it, yeah Fire Wolf is godlike. The Fire Wolf away, just yeah. like, oh, you're gonna hit me, really? Yeah. No, you're dead. Yeah. Like, and it's cool because like there's a little delay too, so you can kind of press it and then watch your opponent. And if you see them, you flinch, can go the other way. Exactly. Yeah. It's very, very good. That's <laughs> really cool. It's very good. <laughs> I like that a lot. All right. Yeah, literally, like day one with this game, I was sitting down. I'm like, wow, this move is really stupid. <laughs> and then I just was playing Larry. He's like, yeah, that's dumb. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just so good. It's uh, it's like memories of the uh, that old Fox custom. What was it? The drill rush. Yes, exactly. Oh my god. That's literally what it is. That move. Is he hovering Crom? Does Sonic play Crom? His name is Sonic. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Back to Sonic. I feel like a, a, a Sonic players would play that. I, I mean, I play Sonic, Roy, and a couple other characters. Oh, that's true, yeah. Uh, but it's it's a fast pace action, right? One, Meanwhile, on the other stream, guys, just so you know, Esam playing Ally. Esam is up 1-0. Ally has switched to Mario. So that's happening on the other stream, but you can also just stick it right here. Watch Zachary against Sonic. Zachary almost oh, making a costly mistake, but yes. not quite. Oh no, but yes, he doesn't have a double. He like wow. moved slightly like I yeah. think like he fast fell for like a split he second. Did. That was so that was such a good recovery, man. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Good shield. Bursts out with the back air. As Sonic's at the ledge. Tries to get the nair, but Sonic's coming out with a forward air of his own. Yep. That air dodge through. Jeez. Yeah, he's been uh, getting so much mileage off that. What? Oh, okay. Whoa! And, uh, can't see anything. Uh, get, uh, we we have a lovely image of Z-Fly. I don't know if you guys can see what's happening, but right now, uh, Sonic's getting the first stock. Sonic's at 117%. Zach Ray does have the ledge advantage, though. Up, oh, time to go recovery. Oh, my gosh. And that was out F-tilt to close down. Two stocks each. Two stocks zero on both. All right, so... I, I, 
Oh, yeah, and we're live! Oh, Jesus. Okay, all right, we're all back. Right, I don't know if you guys saw that, but okay, we're back. Yeah. So Zach Ray slightly trailing, but considering Wolf, if he just gets one grab, he should be able to, yeah, there we go, True. down throw. Easy. Okay, good there. And again, gets hit with a homie attack. Another one, and you see now, Sonic's is actually using uh, homing attack back and forth now. Yeah. He really has been kind of respecting Zakurai in that way, but now going full force. I love that B reverse there on the laser. Doesn't quite get the punish he wanted. I think he was able to shield it, but love that tricky movement out of Wolf, who's a character who is not the most mobile. So True. being able to use stuff like that is exactly. super good. And I love that slight hold on that homing attack, uh, making sure that shield can go down, potentially get a shield poke. It seems like Zakari really doesn't understand how to uh, kind of beat that option. Yeah. And one of the main things that Sonic used, like you really got to utilize a, a, like a great Nair, like Wolf actually has, yes. uh, to punish that spin dash jump into anything. 35 on Zachary, going to eat that homing attack. Wow, he air dodges into Sonic's, and oh, Sonic misses the yeah. punish. And? Oh, trying to go for down tilt, two frame. Oh, and this is scary. Being in this bad position against Wolf when he can just kill you with so many options if he just lands it. But yep. yeah, Sonic's gonna retreat to center stage. I think that's smart. Gets the grab, but it's not gonna be enough to kill. Weird angle on that. I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, that new forward throw? Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. weird. Yeah, the new forward throw is very interesting. <laughs> it's like an actual forward throw. It's, it's like, an what actual the heck? kick, yeah. Yep. <laughs> 156 on Zach, right? Trying to find this damage with the blaster. Using it a little bit more now. Yeah. I think he's just trying to say, hey, you can't hit the spin dash. True. Controlling this space. Yeah, I really like that because again, that that tilt will kill. You know, one of the best tilts in my opinion in the game. It's very, very phenomenal. Does a decent amount of damage. A low profile. So you can angle it up to stuff out an anti-air to any of the short hop aerials. Great overall. I did not know that. Yeah. I didn't is, know you could angle that. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Good damage from Sonics. Yep. He's starting to string some stuff together. Zach Ray doesn't have an answer for it. And right now, this Harry. is the problem: is that Zach Ray has to approach him. He has to make a move first. Oh, yeah. And if Sonics just plays his game, I could definitely see him taking this game. Oh, and he is just absolutely moving. Good for it, though. Time to pin him down. Let's track. Yeah, has him on the ropes, but Sonic's going to be able to escape. And that's one of the huge benefits of playing Sonic that not a lot of people really consider is that getting back to center isn't especially difficult. But yeah. Zachary calling out the air dodge, he's done that over and over. Every time he uses that homing attack, he'll air dodge through Zachary. Yep. Zachary just waiting for it and getting the fourth tilt. Good chance. And oh my goodness. <laughs> Good F tilt. And the double jump, the read. Beautiful, beautiful catch. That is a Sonic special. Very strong. And down there, if you guys Sonics. can see in the corner of uh, where Zachary is, you can actually see behind him, you see the DR boys really happy. Uh, of course, uh, Sonics is number one in Dominican Republic. And you can see 6WX chilling there, watching his uh, Sonic compatriot do some things. Of course. Yeah, and 6WX, one of those players that uh, I was talking about earlier, that didn't really uh, do much with Sonic early on. He thought that Sonic wasn't really the play, thought he changed up too much. Um, wasn't really feeling him. I know he was trying Incineroar, trying Robin for a little while, but now he's back on Sonic as far as I know. Yeah. I had a, I had a good discussion with him about it, man, because I was like, dude, <laughs> this character. And, like, you know, he's look, he obviously he, he, he was going through his due diligence, like, you know what, this character is pretty good. There's some sick stuff. Yep. And then more Sonic started to realize that you can actually combo out of the reverse homing attack. Yes. And then people start having fun with that. People wow. started realizing the little nuances in terms of the continue to combos and then everything like that. And it, every, it, everything just started to come together. Yep. Realizing that Sonic is more run based than spin based at this time around, but still both of them very, very strong aspects of him. It's just a different play style. Yeah. There, are, there are a few characters that have had that kind of thing in this game. A lot sure. of characters are mostly one to one. Um, Yoshi didn't change, for instance. He's still just an A-button monster. Yeah. A lot of characters are most... Uh, Pikachu is just the same play style, but just significantly stronger mm -hmm. uh, because of just the engine and then some of the changes like Nair. But Sonic is one of those cases that the play style did change pretty significantantly. So yeah. it did swap up. Looks like we're trying to discuss a stage thing here. I don't know I what's so. going on. I yeah. wonder if it's a uh, language barrier thing because, yeah. you know, we've got somebody from the Dominican Republic, somebody from Japan. Right, right. Could but be we, any number of things. But we do have TOF here as well, so I think TOF is going to uh, be the translation. Shout out to TOF. 
The shout GOAT, outs. man. He is a homie, man. He's been doing some things. Yeah, and they're, they're gonna talking figure it out right now. now. Yep. I don't. Toaf. What, what's up? I can tell you. Yeah. All right, so we got uh, basically it's a question of DSR. Is oh, it, whether it's modified or regular DSR. Right. Can right. you not go back to any stage you want on or no stage no, you've won no, on? No one we just got yeah, the no official declaration. Yeah. No Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, so Tove giving us the heads up. Yeah, so there we go. And this is, you know, of course, one of the trials when you're going to have people come in, you know, maybe there can be a language barrier. But, of course, at the end of the day, man, we all play Smash. And it's it's a nice it's a nice problem to have because that lets you know that we have people from all walks of life, all different regions coming out here and playing the game and sharing their love for it. But, anyways, we're going to go back into game four. Wolf versus Sonic. Zachary versus Sonic. Sonic really seemed like he got a better handle on that last game. Yeah. I felt like he really learned the matchup, started to string some stuff together. True. Played a lot safer. Because of that, he was able to succeed more. Yeah, I mean, he, his combo game uh, was doing exponentially better. And again, he was checking Zachary uh, with uh, kind of fade back aerials or anything like that. The homing attack, and that's yes. one of the beautiful things about it. If you're trying to run away from Sonic, or if he wants to run away from you, you'd be like, "Hey, I'm gonna run away." Oh, you press the button, and I'm going the other way. Doesn't matter. Homing yeah. attack. I feel like Zachary playing a little bit slower here, maybe a little bit more uh, respectful True. overall. And you saw that up smash, which is weird. The up smash seems like it has a lot of horizontal dragon, yeah. but not much vertical dragon. You know what I mean? Up yeah. at the top, it doesn't feel like it pulls you in much. Good up smash, and, and Sonic's like pretty early there. We didn't even see the sparks. Yeah, man, that was crazy. That had to have been a DI thing. Yeah, maybe he wasn't sure what side he landed on. Down there, dash attack from Zachary, not connecting. But Zachary's still in the driver's seat thus far. Sonic's gonna have to do a little bit of work to get this kill, trying to get Ooh, the, the kicks. Oh my gosh, almost with the S-Mash. Got him out of double jump. Ooh, again, tries to duff him, not gonna get it. I feel like that got harder in this game. Oh, stuffing, stuffing with forward smash. Oh yeah. But I've seen some people do it very, very, very consistently. It's such a, still such a huge hitbox. Get down tilt. I love that forward air offstage by Zachary too. Just not afraid to go offstage even with a character with this kind of, you know, offstage trajectory that's True. kind of predictable. Good back air from Sonic's 111%. Zachary trying to find a way to finish off the stock and work on the next one. Dash tech almost killing. Okay, he's gonna go low and well, he's gonna get back. So one of the things we still see now, of course, it's a very new game. And it's a really big Smash 4 habit. We don't really see anyone trying to punish Sonic's recovery. If he does go low and yeah. go for a spring, you have way less uh, invincibility than he did before. And so you can go for a very easy uh, Nair or something <gasps> like that. <gasps> okay. Oh my God. I was going to say, yeah. I've died this Fox's stage spike on his upbeat before and never wolves. Like, yeah. I've never seen yeah, that. Yeah, right. Jesus. That doesn't work. He, he yeah. was doing that a lot in the first three games, but like that's not working anymore. I yeah. feel like Sonic's is just holding down now, True. and he's able to get the shield out. Yeah, most people kind of uh, try to DI up and away, yeah. and then they get hit by that dash attack. That's interesting. So really good awareness there. Ooh, oh my gosh, you want to talk about awareness, bro? Yes. He was aware of that second oh, jump. Oh, absolutely. The bare essentials, man. Really good stuff. That's exactly what Sonic's needs to create that mental damage to start getting in the head of Zachary, who I don't think was expected to lose anywhere before top 16, top 8. No, absolutely, man. Sonic's came to play. He, I feel like he is just evolving before our eyes. Every yeah. single time I see him, he's playing better and better. I love the set he's going for, down throw in the homing attack, trying to snipe him out of his double oh jump. Boy. I see another option here. Yeah, trying to go for it, but every single time that Fire Wolf is actually being it out. You have to Immaculate. be so respectful yeah. of it. You have to be so careful. Yep, because most people would not do an up in that position. Yep. If you do anything else, that homing attack will win. Zachary just reacting perfectly. Good forward air there. Kind of try to chase him off stage. Excellent oh air dodge through goodness. that spring. That was perfect. Yep. So perfect. Go ahead, go from there. Oh, there's a wait. Good dash attack. Get him on the other side. Attack. He's off on the side. Let's 121. Trap. He has him on the ropes. Good, Good nair. nair. 
threatening off stage. He has oh, yes, to come yes. back with what the What a recovery there. And he's he is dead. dead. He's, he's dead. dead. He's dead. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Wait a no. minute. Did he give up the game? Wait a minute. Did Are you on oh. game five? Oh, gas attack. That's going to be a kill. And Sakurai moves forward. I wondered if he gave up the game. I thought he was too low. Oh my I thought gosh. he was too low. Yeah. I didn't think he was making it back. What it's a, a new game. Yes, Don't yell yes, at us. Yes. What a great directional air dodge. He That that was so good because I thought Sakurai cuz I knew the directional air dodge had to come. However, if he had gone ahead and gone the same thing that he did before, the jump back, uh, the double jump back onto the air, that could have been the life. Yeah. He, he basically could rinse and repeat and he's dead. But man, the fact that he was able to make that one back, almost thought that was going to slip through his fingers. And best believe in game five is not what Zachary wanted to see, especially at the level of adaptation we're seeing from Sonic. Oh, God, yeah. If you're, if you're up 2-0, if you're Zachary, you're up 2-0, and then you lose the next two, like, you've got all this pressure on yeah. you. You've come all the way here. You're 16? Yep. Like, we can't... We can't state that enough. When you're 16 and you're on this kind of level, you might not have the wherewithal to be able to handle True. that big stage stuff. True. I'm, I'm kind of concerned for him if he makes it into that top eight tomorrow, yeah. just being on the big arena stage. You've been in that room. Yeah. That Oakland Theater, that's a huge room. Yeah, and you can see all the Sonics, man, all together, giving them props. Coming the together. Good stuff. I know that they love. I love what I saw. I love what I saw. And, yeah. again, I really hope if you guys are Sonic fans and you're listening now, dude, please, man, Play with this character. This character is very, very good. I know there's a lot of people in the chat are like, please, I don't want to see Sonic, but I feel like Sonic being played in that level and that way is fun to watch. I, think I Sonic's enjoy Sonic's fine now. I, I, think, I enjoy I think people's problem with Sonic was the whole game revolving around spin death. Oh, I hated that. Yeah. I hated that. I despised how Sonic had to play in Smash 4. I despised it.